Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have three diecasts to show you guys. Uh, first two are both Kevin Harvick, and we have also the Brett Moffitt 2018 Championship truck at Homestead with no confetti or anything. It's just the truck, which is nice. And uh, obviously we'll open that up and see that. This is the first truck that I've gotten from, you know, online, not uh, through any Authentics Waves, which I almost have a feeling like this might eventually be in an Authentics Wave, just because it's the championship truck. But now that I think about it, also what Authentics does with the championship cars, or in this case trucks, they stick a little logo on the roof that says, in this case, it would be NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Champion. So, you know, maybe worth it to get this version anyway. Although I do remember one year, uh, 2016, because I think it was Jimmy Johnson, where they actually did have a wave that included both versions, including the regular and the championship. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this one I actually got from Fanatics. You know, they have the they have sales going on all the time, and when they have the free shipping sales that you can actually apply to the diecast, because a lot of times those don't apply. <laughs> but when it does, you can uh, get some cool diecasts. This one is from 2015. This is Outback Steakhouse. Of course, this is on a stand because it does have Budweiser on the side. See, I I never really know when they're gonna put the uh, the cars on stands or not. Seems kind of random. Obviously, I I know I talked about this probably last video, but when and you know beer alcohol sponsor is on the car, you know as the main sponsor, obviously it makes sense. But like this is Outback Steakhouse's car, you know, it just seems kind of random, you know, to put Budweiser on there. Same thing with the Jimmy John's car I got last time. You know, they put Bush on that. And uh, that moves us on to this one, uh, which is 2019 Hunt Brothers Pizza. That doesn't have Bush or anything on it. So, you know, it seems, just seems kind of random when they want to put it on or not. But anyway, um, yeah. So I guess let's uh, let's open these up. Obviously, I'm going to have to break the stand off of this one, but... Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, so here they are. And uh, I guess I started with the Brett Moffat truck when they're in the packaging. So I'll start with it now. And uh, just a little details on this are really cool. First of all, the truck is just really awesome. You know, when you first unpackage any truck, you know, any diecast truck, it's just something about it that's really cool. But I like the little details. Like how I'm trying to get focus. Yeah, right there you can see the six win stickers right there from the six wins of last year. And you have a little David Pearson sticker there because this was right after he passed last year. I do notice that's not on the other side though. It's not uh, here, which I'm sure that's actually how it was in real life. But uh... And there's five win stickers over here. Hold on. There are... Six over here and five over here. Hmm, is that because, like, the win homestead they only give the driver or the team like one sticker, so they put it on there themselves, and then the sticker on the other side isn't added till later? Is that why? Hmm, <clears throat> but anyway, um, truck itself is flawless. Um, I like this truck a lot. Uh, I can't really see any, like, chips or anything. You know, usually I'm able to point that kind of stuff out on a 164 scale. But this is really, really well made. And, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I'm, uh, I'd just be talking about the truck for days. So let's move on. I have the 2015 Kevin Harvick Outback Steakhouse car. Um, and yeah, I don't actually know if he's had this as a main sponsor in a while. There's a chip right there on the T. Um, but it's advertising the Bloomin' Mondays. Hey. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know if he's actually had this as a main sponsor in a while. But uh, here you go. From four years ago. 
Outback Steakhouse. Really good paint scheme, actually. I like the, um, I don't know what, what color you'd call it. I guess like a tan. Have like the little mountain there, which is, of course, part of their logo, but cool. And next we have the Mustang. That last one was an SS Super Sport. This one is a Ford Mustang 2019 uh, Hunt Brothers Pizza Car. And um, obviously bushes would be there. It, it looks very blank, to be honest. Very blank. But here you go. Uh, I don't have many worries, actually, about this being in a wave. Just because it's this car isn't really used that often. It's not like a specialty one either. So, I mean... Although it's possible this could be used in an authentics wave, I really don't think it will. So I, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't really care about this one. I mean, I care about it, that I have it, but, you know, in terms of worrying about if it's going to be in a wave, I guess is a better way to say that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, if this truck is in a wave, you know, I'm more than happy to pick it up. Although, since I already have this, now I kind of want that version to be the version where they have, you know, Camping World Truck Series Champion on the top. So, it's, it's different. <laughs> but, anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm really excited about trucks. You know, the, the, the Truck Series diecasts are really cool. Unfortunately, they're canceling a lot of them, which sucks because people don't pre-order them. I pre-ordered this one way back in November, like, literally right as soon as he won and they released it. I got it. So awesome. And um, anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.